Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Technical Pointer channel. In this video, we will see how to set up C++ development environment on our Windows system using the Visual Studio Code IDE. Uh, we will explore various options you have in terms of the build environment. So we can use MinGW uh, to set up the build environment, but also we have other options like uh, using the Microsoft build tools or installing Ubuntu command line on your Windows system and using that in Visual Studio Code to compile your C++ programs. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing is to install Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can download from the official website and follow along with the instructions. Uh, a very easy So once you do that, you have uh, Visual Studio Code installed and running. The first thing we will need is the C++ extension. So you go to this extensions tab and search for C++ and uh, get the official Microsoft C++ extension. Now this will provide you support for uh, IntelliSense and debugging uh, although this is not a build tool or uh, it will not compile the code for you so for that uh, we have to install some other things but install and enable this extension which is pretty useful also if you look at uh, the home page for this extension there are different links here uh, which have all the steps to install the build tools let us go to the first one, Microsoft C++ Compiler, MSVC on Windows. Uh, with this, we can install the uh, build tools which come with, uh, say, Microsoft Visual Studio. So, uh, some steps mentioned here. First is to install the build tools separately. Um, so, you can search for Visual um, C++ build tools um, Microsoft C++ build tools and you can download the build tools here these will be standalone uh, tools MSVC compiler libraries and scripts included uh, which is enough for uh, compiling C++ but what you can also do is you can uh, install free versions of Microsoft Visual Studio as well um, so there are different uh, versions for Visual Studio. Some of them are free like the Community Edition. You can install this and this will automatically install the build tools for you. Um, so you can make a choice here but for us because we are using uh, Visual Studio Code as the IDE, just installing the build tools will be sufficient. After you do that, uh, let's see how to write your first hello world program so the first thing you need to do is check if the build tools are installed or not and for that you can write uh, developer command prompt in the search and you can get this app press enter and this command prompt is open for developer command tools uh, i've installed visual studio 2017 on my system and so I'm getting uh, this. The next step is uh, make a folder. Um, let us say I create a folder and I name this as test cpp. Now why this folder is necessary is because Visual Studio Code will set up the C++ uh, environment variables and all the paths for a particular folder so making this folder is necessary and then in the developer command prompt you need to go to this folder okay so i can go to this folder and then what i need to do is i need to write code and a dot and press enter what that will do is it will open Visual Studio Code for that folder. Now I will go ahead and close the earlier window. Okay, so this is open 
uh, still it if you open the folder it has done nothing so we need to do something here so let us create a file we'll go to file new file um, first let us save this um, in the same folder I will say hello world dot cpp ok it has created a cpp file now let us write a very simple um, C++ program so you see these uh, auto completion you are getting is uh, all coming from the C++ extension we just installed so uh, I'll just write a very simple uh, hello world program here ok and L ok so this is fine now what's next so if you go to this uh, page again um, so we have installed the tools, we have verified if the tools are installed uh, we have created a folder uh, with where we want to set up the environment we have added a file <coughs> now we need to build this to build this what we need to do is uh, we need to configure two files uh, one is task.json and the other is launch.json so this one will be for debugging launch.json for building it will be task.json now how these files are uh, generated so for doing that you need to go to terminal and configure default build tasks so let us open it like this go to terminal and select configure default build task and it will give you options for your uh, build environment I have just installed the MSVC so it is giving me the CL.exe option but if you are doing MinGW or Ubuntu command line you will get all the options here so I will select CL.exe and it will generate a file task.json for me and if you go to the folder again test cpp you will see that it has created one dot vs code folder inside which you have the task file which is opened up here so in the task file uh, it has uh, different properties which you can read from here what they uh, all mean but uh, it has the it says that you will be building with cl.exe or the microsoft c++ command tools once that is done uh, go back to the file and build this so for building you can either say control shift b or you can uh, go and do run task or run build task so run build task it will build a currently opened file and you can see in the terminal that this is building and it has also generated these uh, exe and object files so go back to the folder and check that you have these uh, exe file generated ok so now how to see the output uh, you can click on this uh, in the bottom you see a terminal is open so you can click on the plus sign to open one more terminal which is a powershell um, let us see uh, what are the contents of this directory so you see a hello world.exe so you can run this by saying dot hello world.exe and it will run the program for you and you see hello world is printed so this task.json is for uh, compiling the file and showing the output now what about debugging if I put a breakpoint here if I go to terminal uh, run and then start debugging again it will give me uh, the option so here I need to select again C++ Windows I will select this and again CL.exe 
it will do something and again generate the okay so i already hit the breakpoint but i will first go to the okay let me step over stop the debugging here it will generate the launch.json file again the launch.json file you can visit uh, this link to see what all these parameters do uh, which will explain you in good detail if you want any custom configurations to be set up but for us this will do um, so now if you go back to the folder you will see that it has uh, created a launch.json as well so uh, now after putting a breakpoint you can say f5 or again go to run and start debugging f5 and you will see it will run the code and here it is the breakpoint uh, in the panel you can see the call stack um, and uh, local variables I don't have any local variable here and again you can do F10 to step over F11 to step into shift F11 to step out uh, continue execution stop and so on your uh, basic debugging tools so this is it uh, this is how we run uh, a basic C++ program with Visual Studio code I will put all the links in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe.